Within this video, we're going to run through how easy it is to take data from one Unreal project to another Unreal project that's exactly the same. Now, in this case, what I have is a Sumo bot here inside of my Sumo ring, and I've built it so that it will basically just push another bot out. And I want to compete this one against another bot, but I want to put it on another machine. So there's a couple of ways that we can do this. And really all we need to do is just a little bit of copying and pasting. So to make it real simple and easy, all I'm going to do is select this bot, right? And go ahead and open up its blueprint. Okay. There's a couple of ways we can do that, but I can go ahead and just double click this one. Cause this is the one it is. And here is all the code that I have that's going to run it. And what I want to do is basically just copy this. So I'm just going to select everything here in the run motors, right? And I am very careful to select everything. So I'm getting this little threshold spot right here and then up around, right? So everything inside of here. So I'm going to select it all there and I'm going to hit command or control C, depending on if you're in a Mac or a windows. And then I'm going to bring over a notepad and you can use a notepad. You can use an email, anything you need to. And I'm just going to make sure that I've got this highlighted in here and I'm just going to paste it in. So control or command V and paste that all in there. Now I can save this and then either email it to myself or I can put it on a USB drive and I can take it over. Now, the caveat with this, again, <laughs> look over here. <laughs> For those of you that are paying attention and taking notes, this project that I'm putting it in comes from a project that's exactly the same. Okay, so this is a real big part of it. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to say that I've taken this over to another machine and I just need to copy this. So control or command C, whoops, let's actually select it also, <laughs> control or command A, and then control or command C to copy that. So I've selected all and then copied it. Now I'm going to go back into my Unreal project and I do have another robot right here that doesn't actually have any data in it. So let's just double click on that and you can see this is completely empty. I don't need this run motors. I'm going to go ahead and just delete that out of there and I'm going to just put my cursor somewhere about here-ish and then control V and paste it. Now you'll notice there's a couple of things that have gone wrong with this because if I try and compile it, it's not working just yet. So we need to hook this stuff back up. So let's take our event begin play and go ahead and run it into the run robot. Okay. And then our run robot will run over here to the light sensor and we can compile. Now here are a couple of the issues that we're going to run into. Now I have very unique variables right here. So this threshold in this motor a, and this blueprint doesn't have those. So we need to go ahead and create those. Well, that's actually really easy to do. There's a couple ways to do it. What I'm going to go ahead and do now, I know the numbers that were actually inside of these ones, so I don't have to worry about that. But what I can do is right click on this and I can say create variable threshold. And what that'll do and watch over here on the far left hand side under variables. When I go ahead and click this, you'll notice that that now pops up. So cool. I can select this and if I hit compile and now allows me to actually change that threshold value to back to what it was. So about 100. We'll go ahead and leave it there. Now we can do the same thing for my motors a, and this is basically just running the speed for my road motors. So I'll just right click on this and say, create a variable for that compile Sweet. Now I can actually put in a number and let's say 20. There we go. So this will make it run forward. Now this next one is a little bit different. If I were to go ahead and right click on this and create the variable for it, that's fine, but I don't actually have the physical piece that lives inside of here. So I do need to add that first. So to do that, again, I have to be in the same exact project. So inside this robots project, and I'm going to come up here to add component. So way up here in the top left. So I'm select that. And what I'm looking for is a light sensor. There we go. So this BP sensor light, this is the one I want to use this one right here at the top. So now that's in there and then I can go ahead and just move this forward and I'll go ahead and rotate this where it needs to be set up. And let's go ahead and move this up just a little bit. There we go. So now that that's actually in there, I have this object. Now we can go back to the event graph and I can make sure that this is set up. So if I just hit compile, ta -da, now this one just totally works because it lives right over here. So there you go. Now this is all set up and ready to go. And I can go ahead and use this one inside of my world. So if I brag this one in, lift it up, rotate it around and actually do a play. Ta -da. Oh, looks like I've got a few things that I still have to work out. Well, I was pretty close to it. That's not too bad for a first run. So now you have a way of actually taking your robots and sending them over to another machine. And then you just have to tweak the numbers just a tiny little bit to get them to run and work because it's all about iteration. You're never going to get it right the first time.